My name is Yukio Kawano. We are in front of Seattle Asian Art Museum today. Today is August 5th, Seattle time, which is August 6th in Hiroshima time, which is the day that the bomb dropped seven years ago. The sculpture is made of kimono fabric. My grandmother was a kimono maker, and it's my grandma's fabric that I'm using. On the 70th anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima, Washington Physicians for Social Responsibility was extremely impressed with the art creation from Yuki that tied her personal experience and her art to this horrific event. The creation of a life-sized atom bomb from her grandmother's materials connected personally this woman with the event that we are all commemorating. This is kind of ongoing exhibition, trying to make the space for the audience to ponder upon our history and think about the human nature and our memory. I'm not a person that who will be offended about, you know, people not really understanding the history. Because in a way, if people don't know much about the history, it, it also means the person has a fresh encounter with my art. So I kind of appreciate that too. And you know, talk to him or her about the piece and then the person has a really fresh view and fresh interpretation. We're very pleased to try to bring her art to the attention of the Seattle public and use this day to educate more people about our position that this must never happen again. This is a really exciting period for conceptual artists to deal with the activism movement and how I think of art can approach the public in a different way from the activist, but sort of carrying the same message. Activists can bring out the very simple message and propagative message. Well, fine art can do is open up a conversation so it's it's really approachable people who are unaware of the history art is open to those audience too that everybody can approach you know piece of art and empower because my art don't have a specific answer. I don't want to make art who tells people how to think, what to think. <laughs>